Yeah, a big, big welcome to you, Aquarius. The sun, which is just coming out right now here in Constance. We have usually a lot of uh, fog in the morning, but to your reading, she's coming out. Look at that. And the sun is in Scorpio, and Scorpio is the transformation is allowing you to let go of your head and make your feet the one that is bringing you to where your gods want to go, not where your mind wants to go. The sun is highlighting now the moon, which is waning again, and the moon is stationing today and tomorrow in your sign. Now we have 11.11 and the portal of 11.11 and 11 o'clock and 11 minutes is a very powerful portal. So I think this reading for you today will be very powerful, very strong. It will guide you to what you can do next. And as you can see that the uh, star person that I created here is not just a Vitruvian man from Leonardo da Vinci. It is actually a position, it's the side plank with one leg up in the air because you have one leg on the earth, one leg on water, which is in a way kind of the clouds and the air that you put in your foot up. So, becoming this one star, as you can see, we have six stars around this seventh one, which is you, and one is falling. So I have the six stars, the seventh one that's transforming, falling, and you have become the eighth star here in your major arcana card. So this combination, what is this combination is going to do to you? It is allowing you to dive deeper because noon is the Hebrew word of the major arcana of Scorpio, the death card. And noon is a fish, is the subconscious. And the subconscious, when we let go and fall into the subconscious, it is giving us a final awareness of how much we are able, when we let go, how much we're able to become more ourselves, become more a star that is shining a light upon the people here on earth. Through this transformation, through this also daring to fall when we come in this position, it's not easy. You need to be very focused and then you allow yourself also sometimes to fall back down and then you come into a sort of backbend. So this is this combination that is speaking to you today and this moment exists only once a year, right? So let's see, you are the king of swords if your birthday is between January 9th and February 7th. You are the classical king of swords sitting on its throne, sometimes a little cool, a little cold very much thinking, very much organizing, very much like in the laws, also in anything that he can put his mind to. He loves to, you know, think over certain solutions that he can bring to this world. If your birthday is before or after that, please look in the description below because I have all the other court cards listed with their dates. Scorpio fixed sign, the center of the fall. Aquarius a fixed sign, the center of winter. The combination in itself, the word for Scorpio is connections and the word for Aquarius is purpose. So we find a purpose in the connections that we're forming, that we create so that we can create something bigger than ourselves, right? Like a star is a big energy field and so to be big we need other people's help. Now the first 
card that I'm picking is the Mystical Shaman Oracle card by Alberto Villoldo. I already shuffled. I'm just going to now allow the card to come out. So one fell down. And it's the number 21. Very clear, the fall is here. The colors are here. The wings of the phoenix are here. And are telling you, yes, allow to fall. Allow to become a star. Allow to come down. Like the leaves are falling. The fall is a very magic time because the leaves of the trees are transforming into compost for the tree itself, giving back the energy of the um, light that the sun was making the chlorophyll back to the earth, nourishing the bark, nourishing the roots. And you are becoming a sign that it's okay to fall, it's okay to become a star here on earth. Very beautiful. So let's have a look at the meaning of this card. First I'm going to read the essence. Before we cultivated grains, we collected the wild bounty of nature. The gatherer finds abundant seeds, nuts, berries and wild greens, where the ordinary person sees only barren soil. The gatherer is the provider, the forager, and the gardener who collects roots and vegetables for the long winter when game is scarce. She does not hoard, trusting the bounty around her. Very beautiful. So you are realizing through this energy, through the Scorpio, that you are able to come down to earth and maybe even like a soul quest, come to earth and realize your true value, realize who you truly are as a king of swords, as a star that is falling back down here on earth and learning through the dual energies what it is that you need to be doing here. The next oracle card is the mystical moments. The number three, first you have the two, which is the high priestess and the one, which is the magician. And then together it creates the number three. And the number three is then the Empress. Look at this. Beautiful. Again, the color red. Here it's more orange, but again, this red orange colors of the leaves falling right now, creating a very mystical creation. And now here the connection between a girl and a swan and it's the number five, which is the gift. So the number five is the high priest. And we have the two, the high priestess. So there is a union, there is a connection between the male and the female. Magic, because a priest is like a magician. He's just more defined. The magician is more the energy behind creating something. and the priest is the one that creates the, the, the object or that makes the focus real. So this card, the gift. So there is a gift and you see the gift from the earth. You see the gift that nature is giving you. You see that nature is always providing and giving you um, an awareness because you're becoming like a swan and the swan is becoming like you 
whimsy, excitement, curiosity and the gift. So, the gift. So what's in this box? What's happening here? Is this box a wish box, which is today, the day where you can wish and make the wish come through? And this box is saying, yes, you already have plenty of gifts around you. Nature is giving you plenty of gifts and now it's giving you a special gift on this day today. This reading is going to give you an awareness, a higher awareness of the number eight because when a day like this we have uh, the 11th 11th and 11 11 minutes, 11 hour, 11 minutes, it's eight times. So it's a very special gift here that you're becoming and I can see that you are called <clears throat> to use this magic around you, right? That this gift that is falling around you, coming to you. So I'm using the Lightseer Tarot today and I already shuffled and I'm just going to split the deck exactly like this and then pick six cards. So, let me just have a little sip. Interesting enough, the T says, true knowledge, you find true knowledge only within, not in the outside. Well, you are at the Ten of Wands, which is Saturn in Sagittarius, which is in the next month we have the Sun in Sagittarius. But Saturn in Sagittarius is saying that you are finding the Elders, finding the Discipline, finding the understanding that order and conformity are brought you up to the highest mountain, brought you up to find yourself, to climb the mountain, but now you're ready to come back down because you've been up there and you put all the wands as a light, as an energy, as a creativity that helped you to find the path up. Now it's time to go back down again because the 10 is a one and a zero, a new beginning where you learned what you had to learn up here at, in the mountains. After that comes the Three of Swords and the Three of Swords is Saturn in Libra. So again, Saturn, Saturn. So the conformness, the staticness of Saturn, this restrictive energy is bringing to you the heart, the wounded heart, the heart that teaches you to let go, right? Again, the color red, to let go of things that don't work anymore. Allow now this painful energy to, you know, let go of it and understand that this is just a memory and this could be even a world pain. It's not always only a hard pain because of a relationship that has ended. But nevertheless, look into your heart because after that comes the Five of Cups, which is sadness. So you're coming back down from the mountains because you realize you still need to clear this. You realized something is still lingering. 
you realize that something is not something you have not let go of yet but you're about to let go you're about to make a new round of understanding what must have happened in the past that these two cards are now in your reading today so Saturn in Sagittarius Saturn in Libra and the five of cups is Mars in Scorpio, right? So Scorpio is saying, look deep within for what you want to finally let go. Because when you let go, see what comes here? Exactly. The white lights, the white clear energy. Then comes a Virgo. Which means now, if you let go, you can move forward, you can go, because we have 11 coins. And it's almost saying today on the 11th of November, which is 11th month, 11, 11 o'clock, you are ready to walk away from this deep sadness the black horse, the heaviness, the Saturnian energy. You decided already to move forward. You decided to let go. And now you're even walking away from something that is not working anymore. That is not fulfilling you anymore. And so the next step is that when you walk away, you are able to see that it's not someone else who created this, but that it's within you, that you allowed someone to bind you, you allowed someone else to hold you prisoner in your own mind, in your own mind movie, and that you are realizing that you have to go forward and then comes justice. Justice is something that you look at. Justice is something that you can hold dear within. And justice is something that you clearly know about. Because justice is something where the sword, this mental, even though it's connected with Libra, right? But there is something where you understand clearly it's time to take over the mind. It's time to understand that certain circumstances come to us so that we become stronger, so that when we walk away from it, we know that this inner prison came from within, not from another person, that this inner painfulness comes because you didn't know better and you allowed to be played with not consciously but unconsciously sometimes we have certain lesson to that we learn right we learn about that things want to go and so you're walking and you're walking you're coming down the mountain and you're realizing Yes, I do not want, I want to clear this. I cannot only be up here, right? Up here the star is wonderful, but come down. The star comes down to the earth and is creating around the people a hope, an understanding of healing. So you're coming down and you're doing just that. You're coming down and you're realizing, yes, this is me who allowed these things, these energies to play with me because I wasn't strong enough yet. And even the sadness, when I drop down, I fall into a justice, I fall into the center, I fall into a clarity that starts within, that starts within my head. And where are you going? To the success, to the light, to the white horse, which is 
next year in June, 21st of June, begins cancer and the success is there. The success to say, I am worth it. I am bringing um, the energy together. I am combining the white horse, uh, the white, the black horse and the white swan. Like here with my third eye, I find the two horses become one and I can be successful. And then you have understood the gatherer. You have understood the person that always finds something to eat. You have understood that you always will find a gift. No matter where you are, you will always be taken care of through the energy that comes from deep within and the light that you find when you let go of the sadness, when you let go and let yourself fall into the deep subconscious, into the deep ocean, into the deep love. A love that is saying, I am here, I am taking care of you, I will catch you. I will support you, no matter what. The invitation. Look at the resources you already have close at hand. This is a time of abundance. Everything around you is ripe and ready for harvest. Banish the notion of scarcity that have limited your choices and colored your destiny. Pack your food for the winter and start with the low hanging fruit that is all around you. All right? Moving forward, moving on from scarcity, moving on from thinking that these three energies are having power over me. They don't. I only allow other people to take advantage of me if I don't find myself worth of a better situation, if I don't find myself worth of moving forward, of going and taking that path forward and then finding a way out of the mind. This is just a mind game, but this mind game is playing a trick on you all the time because you are connected with the sword. So this is all happening in your mind. But you will have then here a Libra helping you to understand that this is not how you want to continue to live your life and of course you be able to move on and allow to heal yourself because the, the cancer is the healer allow you heal yourself allow to trust the earth allow to trust to move forward and of course what do i see underneath of the card is the fool and of course I saw a little bit the Empress and the Empress is here in the three so this is for your next reading a little pick a -poo into the next reading that the Empress always knows that the earth is supporting her is fertilizing her so she is able to begin a new cycle by letting herself to be dropped into the ocean, into the ocean of all possibilities, into the zero. And you don't have a zero here, right? But, no, you do, in the beginning of taking responsibility of your thoughts, taking action about the way you see love, about 
the way you suffer through love and about the way you see yourself, this way you bind yourself. And so here you are dropping into a new beginning, walking away, going further and saying no, because you have here 11 on the day of November, 11-11. On this special day, you got the 11th card, which is the central card of the 22 major arcanas. That will bring you into your center. Through that center, you find your third eye, you bring the two horses together, and you are able to begin completely fresh next year in the month of June, July, when the 21st of June begins the summer, a cardinal sign as a new beginning of all possibilities. Wow, so beautiful. What, I mean, that's it. That's, that's, that's the reading, right? That's the reading. You can look, of course, into your own reading after I put the picture of the cards here. But remember, right, that everything is here. Everything you need is here and you got the special gift. You got the gift of beginning fresh, of focusing through the seventh chakra and beginning and falling through the seventh chakra, mentally meditating and falling into this infinite pool of potential, falling into yourself, into the star, that shines bright on planet Earth. That's what Scorpio will be doing to you, will help you, the fall will help you to allow yourself to fall into all potentials. Wow, that's it. All potentials are waiting for you with the Empress. Wow, wonderful, so beautiful. Now for me it's always like, okay, I like to read like it's for me, right? Because otherwise it just becomes strange if I pretend to read for someone. I read it for me and if you're attracted to this kind of reading, then we're connected on some soul level and that's all I want to bring to these readings. So I hope you're going to have a beautiful meditation with this message. I hope also I see you in the next reading. That's when the sun is going to be in Sagittarius. It's speaking already, even though it's Saturn. Doesn't matter, Sagittarius is here. So you're walking down and we will see what that message then will be. Until then, I thank you so much for watching. Namaste.